Hey everyone, welcome to Bald Guy Money and a special welcome to all of those of you out there who helped make my last video such a big success. Thank you so much. In this video, I am going to share the results of another chat I had with the chat GPT artificial intelligence. And this time it covers gold and platinum. It will include definitive answers on why the AI thinks they're good to own, which one the AI thinks is better to own, and I actually got the chat GPT to give me a three-year price prediction for both metals. In addition to that, I also asked it to answer a couple questions about gold and platinum in the style of some of my favorite comedians, and you'll be shocked at how good a job it did. And not wasting any time, I asked ChatGPT what are the two best reasons to own gold and platinum, and this is what it said. Not shockingly, it gave me one shared answer and two unique answers. So starting with gold, the AI said that the best reasons to own it are as a hedge against inflation and as a way to diversify your investments in what is called a non-correlated asset, meaning that it is not tightly connected to the volatility of stocks and bonds. Now, when it comes to platinum, although the AI says it is a hedge against inflation, like gold, it does list the top reason as being its use in industry, and it specifically referred to something I've covered here on the channel before, and that is the use of platinum in catalytic converters in automobiles. Now we're going to break away a little bit from the formula I used in the Silver AI video, and that's because a lot of the risks associated with stacking gold and platinum were the exact same risks that we covered in that video for silver. And as you can probably guess, the AI also prefers sovereign coins and Boolean bars when it comes to types of gold and platinum to stack. So I didn't want to cover those points twice. And to make things a little more exciting this time around, I asked the AI which of the two metals, gold or platinum, is better to own and how much of a portfolio should be made up of each of the metal. And here's what I've got. When it comes to which metal the AI thinks is better to stack, the answer was gold. And it listed a lot of reasons I have mentioned in past videos when discussing my personal apprehension to stacking physical platinum. And that is mainly lower liquidity. So because less people want to buy physical platinum, it could make it more difficult to sell. And the strong history of gold as a recognized store of wealth, something that platinum simply lacks. And when it comes to how much of each metal someone should have in their portfolio, at least according to the AI, this is where I thought it actually put forward some good stacking fundamentals that make sense for the average person. Because when I asked it how much of a portfolio should be made up of gold and of platinum, it said, five to 10% for gold and one to 5% for platinum. And after giving it a little bit of thought, I said to myself, if someone really insisted on stacking platinum, maybe a 10 to one gold to platinum weight ratio would be reasonable to get a little exposure to platinum. Meaning for every 10 ounces of gold you stack, maybe try to have one ounce of platinum at the maximum. And that's just some food for thought that I was considering when going through this chat data. Uh, and of course, I encourage everyone to do what's best for them, but I thought that would be worth sharing with all of you out there watching this video. That said, I also wanted to take this opportunity talking to ChatGPT to address my own personal skepticism with respect to stacking platinum, as well as some of the skepticism that is out there with respect to stacking gold, especially amongst people who are very focused on stacking silver. Now, to do that, I wanted to explore the possibilities of this AI a little bit. So I asked the AI to try to convince me to buy platinum 
but using the style of comedian Jerry Seinfeld from the popular 90s TV show, Seinfeld. And I'll read the first bit of what it said. Have you ever heard of platinum? It's like the George Costanza of metals. It's the opposite of gold. While gold is the golden boy of the metals market, platinum is the dark horse that always gets overlooked. But just like George, platinum has its own unique charm and appeal. Platinum, like George, is a rarer metal and has industrial uses such as catalytic converters and automobiles. It's like George's unique fashion sense and his ability to make something out of nothing. If you believe in the long-term growth of the economy, especially the automotive industry, platinum could be a great addition to your portfolio. And for those of you who are skeptical about gold, I asked the AI to do the exact same thing, kind of a sales pitch for gold, but instead of asking it to do it in the voice of Jerry Seinfeld, I asked it to do it in the voice of Kevin Hart. And here's what I got. Yo, listen up. I know you might be thinking gold is old fashioned and outdated, but let me tell you, it's still the MVP of the investment game. Gold is like that little voice in your head that tells you to make the smart choice. It's always there to protect you from the craziness of the market. It's like having Kevin Hart in your corner, always got your back. So I hope you found that as amusing as I did. And, and if you go to ChatGPT, you can do that yourself and you can choose whatever comedians or whoever you want to hear kind of give those pitches or whatever you want them to say. It is really a lot of fun to do. But now I want to give you all what you came for, or at least what I assumed you can't, you, you've come for and why you clicked on this video. And that is the price predictions. And these are actually pretty interesting because the AI was very specific this time. And I'm not talking about that backup AI that we had to use in the silver video. This time I got the price predictions directly from the chat GPT AI, and it gave me a three year price prediction stating some prices it thinks gold and platinum can reach in that time frame. Now, just before I show it to you, I just want to say this is the opinion of the AI. It's not my opinion. But when asked what price platinum could realistically hit within the next three years, the AI gave an upwards price range between $1,200 per ounce to $1,500 per ounce. And for gold, that range was between $2,000 per ounce and $2,500 per ounce. So pretty realistic on both counts, but definitely less upside in percentage terms versus the numbers we had on silver, albeit that number came without a time frame. Overall, I have to say that I was much more satisfied with this conversation than I was the conversation that I had with the AI about silver. And I suppose it boils down to the fact that this AI is actually learning from the more conversation chats it has. Now, I know there's some skepticism out there, but that is how I see it and at least how they explain this product and how I can explain why, at least this time around, it was able to give some pretty accurate price predictions, at least, you know, when I think about my understanding of how the market could develop, I would say those are some pretty reasonable price predictions. And now, if we take everything the AI said here about gold and platinum, I really think it's worth highlighting the following points. Number one, that the AI thinks gold is a tried and true store of wealth. And this is something I absolutely agree with. Number two is that platinum is more volatile and speculative versus gold. And it's more tied to industrial demand. And again, this is something I have spoken about on the channel at length. And I was really happy to see that the AI echoed a lot of my sentiments with respect to platinum. Number three, the AI thinks it is better to stack gold than platinum. And it thinks sovereign coins and bullion are the best way to go for physical stacking. So again, for all the seasoned stackers out there, that really doesn't come as a surprise. When it comes to what the AI thought about how much of a person's portfolio could reasonably be allocated to gold and platinum, for gold, it said between 5 and 10% of your portfolio. And for platinum, it said from 1 to 5% of your portfolio. Again, 
kind of consistently echoing the fact that it does prefer gold over platinum. And the final learning here that I want to cover is actually the three-year price targets that AI quoted us for gold and platinum. For gold, that's between $2,000 and $2,500 per ounce within the next three years. And for platinum, that is $1,200 to $1,500 per ounce. And actually, when I look at what the prices of gold and platinum are today, the fact of the matter is actually you get more of a percentage upside on platinum. That said, I think the AI made it abundantly clear that this is more of a speculative investment, whereas the gold might be a safer vehicle to get there with a higher percentage chance of hitting those targets. And again, these are just kind of assumptions I'm extrapolating from the conversation that I had with the AI. Before I sign off, I just want to remind everybody that I have launched a Patreon where you can get more bald guy video content. You can actually vote on what kind of videos I do here on the YouTube channel. So what topics I cover as well as this, which is my metals tracker. And there are now two files covering this one that allows you to track all of your purchases over time, which I added at the behest of Mal, who is a patron as well as the original 2023 tracker, both in the form of a downloadable Excel file for private use on your personal computer. And contrary to some of the stranger comments I got last week, I do not see what you put in this file and I am not collecting data to share with the government. That is just BS. And if you're interested in joining the Patreon, the link to join is in the description of this video, so please check it out. With that, I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like these videos that I'm doing. And until next time, I'm wishing you all the best. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye.